Hello guys, welcome to another video. Happy Monday to you all. Um, so, yeah, haven't really gotten that much done over the weekend per se, like building wise that is. But, um, diggy diggy boys, mm, I've got a fair bit done. Um, oh, oh, oh. I think we have enough food, probably too much actually, so I'm gonna put some of this away. That and that. And then we keep the rest on us. Um so yeah, I'll show you what I have been doing, diggy diggy wise. Um yeah, probably gonna need all those. I do have some more milking on the go. So, straight off the bat, you can probably see already what the difference is. <laughs> this is no longer, well, it's still the top of the mountain, but it's not like a mountain anymore. It's, it's a flat mountain now. Down here, then, and I've made like a little two pillar thing here. The only problem with this one is I can't go any further out that direction, so it's kind of like stuck in here, like this. So you get this corner here, like this. I could fix it and just probably start building from there, but then you'll have this big gap here, and it would look kind of silly. So I decided I'll put it back here against the wall, flush with it, so then that when you're coming down the stairs, you know, it doesn't look all weird and out of shape. Or there wouldn't be like a big gap between here and this bit here. But um yeah, I'm not sure if I should get rid of the X uh, monument <laughs> that was made live on blog TV. But um yeah, there you go. That's that didn't take too long, but it took up like you know a fair little time digging all that. And then around here, then um over here I'm trying to work out the height at the moment but um this is going to be a tower and um, I'll show you the, f the reason for that now just in a second uh, and again I, I dug all of that back there and made the pyramid a bit bigger so it's mainly diggy diggy work that I've been doing oh crap I didn't jump <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but I've made this pool and everything, so like all I had to do was go on the tower and fall down. So, anyway, yeah, get you wolves and stuff. I'm not really sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing anymore because I'm using like uh, the latest snapshot. So, what actually happens now is when you're fighting. Uh, when I'm actually fighting mob now, these fellas actually spawn in. Um, it's like a couple of episodes ago, actually. Like, if I fight this mob here and this mob hits me, these fellas spawn in and start attacking whatever mob type it is that's attacking you. And that can be really annoying, especially when you have like a diamond sword out and you're you're fighting the the mob, and he hits you, and then you're you're still swinging. Sometimes you can kill your own wolves. So yeah, but what are you doing? I don't understand that at all. So I don't know if it's a good thing that they teleport in and kind of rescue you like that, or I don't know if it's a good thing that now they teleport in, uh, attack whatever it is you've been attacking, and then just sit down like stupid wolves where they've spawned in because they're in the sitting position already. Uh, I kind of liked it the old way. Watch. See, you know, if I had been swinging, I probably would have killed some of those wolves. And now watch, they'll just sit there, like takes after they kill the thing. Uh, unless, like this fella here, at the time they can't actually sit down in the location. So then you get half of your wolves that are running around, and then half of your wolves that are sitting there. So it's just, oh, it's like. 
more annoying than anything. I had like kennels and everything set for these. Um, you guys have already seen them. But uh, yeah, now they just randomly teleport out of their kennels. And now it's a hassle now for me to go and put all those back in just to get hit again for more wolves to spawn beside me. So it's pointless. The point is having a kennel for them right now. But um, anyway, yeah, here's the pyramid. I just need, like I said, just needed two bottom layers here like this. Having them to the inside at all. <laughs> it's still kind of unfinished. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the front end. I'll show you here now. It's starting to look a lot better than what it used to. Have to run over here. Give you a good look. Ta da! <laughs> um, the windows, I'm not sure if I want to put glass in them or not, but oh, that tower is actually shaping up fairly nice over there. Up to the height that I have it there now, I'll probably keep it at that and then probably put a roof or something on it, or I might even just leave it round. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do the top half of it yet, but that looks about the right height actually. I'm kind of liking that. And the reason why I wanted it there is because if you actually look at this, it's not symmetrical, so it's kind of like, mm, kind of a fail really. Um, this side here, there's a lot more space out there than there is on this side. So. On this side here, you have the ramp going up into the, into the house, but over this side then, you have nothing. So, just to take the edge off, so to speak, I thought I'd put like a round tower over there or something. Just to keep it like, not so boring to look at, I suppose. <laughs> um, oh, and I have built another house, actually. Just around over there but uh yeah um if you remember in the last video i was saying like I'm, i might actually try and uh, separate these out <laughs> yeah it's it's just not gonna happen oh actually if i have any yeah i do uh in the new uh snapshot fairs and when you put like pressure plates down like this Okay, it's not working. What the hell? Oh wait, I, yeah, he did say you have to rehang them or something like that, so maybe that has something to do with it. It's supposed to, um... Fix it so that, like, your doors don't go all messy and screwy and stuff like that, so... Don't know if that works or not. Ah, there we go. Yay! <laughs> Sweet. About time you fix that actually. But anyway, um on we go, on we go. And yeah, I did as you seen in another there I got some glowstone so I was able to actually update the whole uh lamppost thing coming along here. It's starting to it's starting to take shape, starting to look nice. Might be a bit overkill though on the the lamps, I might have to spread them out a bit. But as you can see, just over here, and I'm debating myself actually whether I will, um, if I will do it or not. I'm thinking of adding like kind of like a back room here, just the back square room here, or kind of around the room, or maybe just like a, a garden or something like that for the actual house. Because it has an unusual shape to it. And doing the roof for this actually was, oh, oh my god, it was like a pain. <laughs> I don't know about any of you guys, but you know when you're making the stairs, and you make like, I don't know, say like, eight of them or something, eight stacks of 64, you think that's absolutely loads, and that would like, do any kind of a roof, uh, actually no, you'd be lucky if that got, maybe that had that side on there, and the other side, stairs are like, 
they're so tricky to actually get right, and I never want to overdo it because I don't want to be wasting the wood that I have to go and chop down all the time. So it kind of gets annoying after a while. Um, I do have to actually put the floor in a wooden floor, but uh, I use some of the red wool that I have back at the house there for like I don't know seating area has a kitchen area. And it has its own little bat. Yay! <laughs> then over here, then it's the dining area. And I'm getting, to, I'm starting to do this a lot, which is putting crafting benches in every single house. It's kind of like a bit funny that I do that to begin with because I should just carry one around with me, but no, I'd rather have a, a crafting bench in every single house, actually. While we're here, oh yeah, and mob actually kind of like um, break down the doors and stuff now on hard mode. <laughs> Ow! Say, look at this! Oh my god, that's like it's just yeah. <sighs> Could you imagine, like, if you were, I don't know, up on a tower or something and that happened, or you were near lava and that happened? It was like, there goes half your wolves, by the way. I did lose a lot of the wolves because of this, because I was trying to fight an Enderman, and Enderman absolutely prone wolves for some reason. It's just, it's just like, oh, go away, <laughs> dead, <laughs> dead. Are they in my house? Ooh, trippy. <laughs> That's why you have to fix your double doors. Oh, what hell is he? Stuck it. Oh, probably on the knee. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fail. Anyway, um, I'm thinking that the team for actually the top five um, this week will be mob traps. Why not? Because. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm saying mom traps is because I think they're broke and they're not working. So I wanted to see what the hell you guys can do to try and counteract that. Um, so yeah, let's do a top 5 on uh, the actual mob traps. It doesn't have to be a sky trap now, it can be any type of mob trap you want. Uh, you can use any kind of materials that you want. And then what you want to do then is, is send me the world and just say like top five entry uh, top five entry mob trap or something like that so I, I know like it's a mob trap uh, make it a link to your actual download uh, of your world and I'll do like a little short video on it then um, I would say send me your videos but yeah I don't have the world's greatest internet connection so that will be pointless and if I do get a lot of entries, that would mean a lot of downloading. And like I said, I don't have exactly the world's greatest internet. So um, it, it'd be a lot easier if you just send me the, the link to your world and um, upload it to FileShare or, you know, some kind of um, file sharing site where I can download your, your world. And throughout the course of the week, um, Probably around Wednesday, Thursday will be when I start actually deciding on which uh, will be in the top five and I'll start like doing recordings then. So um, yeah, you might want to get to it and actually start building your mob traps. Well, you probably already have them built, I don't know. But um, yeah, interestingly enough, if I can just get up here now and I'll show you real quick before I end the video. As you can see here, there is no exposed lava. Now I thought Jeb or um, Notch fixed this a while back. So that like, your hot coals or whatever you want to call them can't spit out if there's like uh, a block above them so in other words the hot coals can't come through a block but yeah it seems to keep burning down my damn roof 
this is all fire damage. I, I was walking along here and I was like, oh, crap, not again. But luckily it's a stone house, so, well, kind of, because it might spread over there eventually and caught fire to this. And, well, that wouldn't have done much damage, but it hasn't caught fire to this yet. <laughs> Thankfully enough, it hasn't caught fire to that yet, anyway. So, um, yeah. For the team, or for the top five, I mean, uh, mob traps. So there you go. Um, so to wrap the video up, I think I'm gonna go back and try and finish off the tower. Um, I do have to actually have to check and see if my smelting is done. Kind of a kind of annoying, but uh, you know, whatever. All the smelting and uh, I did actually spend a lot of enchantment points. I think I had 27 or something last time for this. And it's an unbreaking tree, so you know, ooh, wow, that's like a super spade or something. It's like the Nether is the place to go though. If you're if you're like wanting to get like a lot of experience, that's the place to go. Or um, if you can like get the chicken farm on the go, what you can do then is you can like uh, because they always re they always reproduce the eggs that you put you, you take anyway. So if you get a big enough farm eventually on the go, the chicken or the eggs sorry that you get from that farm, if you go off somewhere else and start another chicken farm, that can be your slaughter farm for example. So. The eggs from one farm supply the other one, if you know what I mean. Eventually, when you get like a lot of them together, probably like two, three hundred chickens or something, depends on what your computer can handle. Uh, just throw in some, uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, un unharming or, or harming? Or harming, that's what it is. Or something like that. I can't remember the name of them. <laughs> I do apologize. Uh, a trollable one and then you get like excuse me you get loads of like experience that way it's long and slow you'll probably get all that experience going in the nether anyway so there you go guys um so until the next video we shall see you all later uh, bye bye